Excellency Salva Kir Mayadid, President of the Republic of South Sudan, continues to monitor the situation in the Sudan very closely. The President also maintains the call by IGAD, heads of state and government, during the virtual meeting on Sunday, April the 16, 2023, on the warring parties to cease hostilities immediately. The cessation of hostilities will provide a conducive environment not only for the civilians trapped inside their homes to assess essential supplies like food and water, but it will also allow eager delegation to travel to Khartoum to engage the Sudanese leaders in order to end the crisis. This afternoon, His Excellency Salva Kir Mayadid, President of the Republic of South Sudan, was able to reach the chairperson of the Sudan Sovereign Council, General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan, and his deputy, General Mohammed Hamdan Daglo, in his discussion with both leaders. President Kiir persuaded them to agree to a humanitarian ceasefire. The discussion ended with both parties agreeing to a 24-hour ceasefire starting this evening at 18 hours or 6 p.m. Sudan local time. This window will allow civilians to assess essential supplies of food and water and also provide a safe window for the wounded to be taken to hospitals for medical attention and also to allow medical personnel, doctors and nurses to reach the hospitals so that they can treat the wounded. As the head delegation by IGAD leadership to mediate on the Sudanese crisis President Kiir remains steadfast and strong on his call on both sides to silence the guns and pursue peaceful means in resolving the differences. This is the message of His Excellency President Salva Kiir Mayadid. As we know, he heads an IGAD high-level delegation. In his company is President Ruto of Kenya, and, and President Umar Gule of uh, Djibouti. This is an IGAD concern, and this is a concern in the region and internationally.